What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be going over the fastest and most consistent ways to get your launchers diamond in Black Ops Cold War. Usually I just make these as how to get your weapon gold, but the reason I'm emphasizing diamond is because in this one I'm actually going to have to touch on the RPG and the Sigma as they are both very different from each other and require some relatively different steps in order to get them both gold. So rather than focusing on just one weapon from the class, I am going to be covering both of the launchers in detail. If you are new around here and you're interested in seeing more guides like this one, in the future then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications as there are plenty more videos like this one on the way but anyway without wasting any more time let's get stuck right into it so one of the biggest challenges overall with grinding for camos this year is just how long it takes to level up your weapons this is likely going to be about 50 percent of the launcher grind for you guys as these bad boys are not easy to level up but luckily for you guys i actually found a really solid strategy that involves playing dirty bomb and i managed to max out my rpg and sigma in about four or five games each. Now I've got a whole separate video on that if you guys do want to check that out. I'm not going to be that guy who forces everyone to watch a whole extra video for the views and so simply put, you just need to drop into Dirty Bomb, land on people when you're parachuting in and then melee them to death as that will help you level up much, much faster. So now you know the trick, you don't need to watch the video, but in saying that, if you do want to see it a little bit more in depth, then I will leave a link up in the top right for you guys to check that one out. Now anyway, getting into the camos, starting off with the sprays, these are essentially not even necessary to focus on because to actually max out the weapons and get the final camos unlocked you are actually going to need more kills for the final camos than you do to get these ones so you will just get these ones done without even having to think moving on to the stripe camos these require you to destroy equipment score streaks or vehicles with the sigma needing 50 and the rpg needing only 25 now honestly these are arguably just as easy as the kills if not actually easier and one thing i definitely recommend is using the engineer perk as this will allow you to see all equipment score streaks and vehicles vehicles through walls, meaning you can come across them a whole lot easier. It's definitely easiest to take out things like the field mics, claymores and stuff like that with the RPG, while for the Sigma, honestly just shooting down spy planes is the absolute easiest and fastest way to get this one done. Next up we have the classic camos which require you to get two kills in a row with that weapon without dying 20 times over. Now these used to actually be three kill streaks rather than two, so F in the chat for those of you guys who grinded away with the three kill streaks only for them to eventually change it. What I will say is that for right now don't even bother about these two kill streaks as there's actually another camo class later on that does also require two kills in a row so i'll actually just give you a single tip for those camos that are going to help with these ones too so stick around to the end of the video when i touch on those and you'll know exactly what i mean Moving on to the geometric camos, these just require you to destroy ground-based score streaks or vehicles with the RPG needing 25 and the Sigma needing a whopping 50. Your best bet for these ones is to actually just head into combined arms and hope that you get either Armada or Crossroads, and then you pretty much just want to focus on the tanks, snowmobiles, boats or jet skis as these are all counted as ground-based vehicles. RCXDs and sentry turrets do also count as well, but they are both a little bit less common and also somewhat harder to kill. So if you come across any of those in a regular multiplayer, then definitely take them out if you can. And a tip for that is that with the sentry turrets, if you hit them directly, it'll take you two hits. However, for some reason with splash damage, it is an instant kill, which doesn't really make sense. So with the RPG, just fire at the ground near them. And for the Sigma, instead of actually locking onto them, you do also just want to shoot at the ground without locking on as that will kill them faster. These ones are a little bit tedious to get done, honestly, but they're not by any means hard. So just stick at it and you will eventually get them done. Moving on, we have the Flora Camos, and these ones require you to take out aerial score streaks or vehicles with the Sigma needing 50 and the RPG needing 25. Now, the Sigma is self-explanatory. Have a Sigma in your back pocket at all times and just shoot down spy planes every time you see them in a regular game. You can essentially just play normally and maybe grind some regular weapon camos, and then when you see a spy plane or a counter spy plane, just whip out the Sigma and get them done in no time at all. For the RPGs, however, well, where do I start? These things suck ass at taking out aerial kill streaks. One, because they don't have a lock on, and two, because they seem to just have a mind of their own. Your best bet for aerial kill streaks is to play Nuketown 24 7 and hope that the enemy team calls in care packages. Care packages are super easy to shoot down as they're generally pretty low on the map, and they do also stop still for maybe three or four seconds, meaning you have a good chance to line them up and take them out. So make the most of them whenever you do come across them. The other alternative, which sounds really hard, but honestly, I got maybe 10 or more of these done is just to shoot at spy planes and hope you land one. 
It is pretty tedious, but if you aim out in front of them like you can see in the clips here, then they are a little bit easier than you would think to take them out, although, like I said, they're still not easy by any means. Next up, we have the science camos, and these ones are actually surprisingly easy, even though I'm almost certain that most of you are probably here just for these tips, because these ones seem really hard with an RPG. With the Sigma, obviously, it's as simple as just taking out three spy planes in a game ten times. You'll literally get that done in ten games or less. Now, it technically shouldn't work, in my opinion, because it says in a single game but these do stack so if you get three in a game that counts as one but if you get six in a game that will count as two so i'm not sure if that's actually meant to happen but it absolutely does work so do your best to take out as many as you can every game now with the rpg this does seem super daunting it's hard enough to get one spy plane or a care package or maybe even one sentry turret but i'm about to absolutely blow your mind if you kill two score streaks or vehicles with the sigma but then get the third one with the rpg for whatever reason that will count towards these camos. So what I did was I jumped into some Raid 24-7 or Nuketown 24-7. I had one class with a Sigma and one class with an RPG and then I was just getting some camos for a few of my assault rifles. When I did hear a spy plane being called in, as usually once someone gets one there's about two or three other players who are going to get one around the same time, I would then switch to my Sigma class, take out two as fast as I possibly could, then I would switch back to my RPG class, play the game normally again just going for regular assault rifle or SMG camos, and when the next score streak got called in, I would take it out with the RPG. Now, this can still be kind of hard because you might just keep missing shots with the RPG and that's obviously a pain in the ass, but the faster you get those first two, the longer you'll have in that game to try and get that one more with the RPG. So these are actually much easier to get than you would think. I'd recommend running an assault pack on your RPG class as well as Danger Close which gives you more base ammo. And then yeah, once you've taken out those first two spy planes with the Sigma, you've got the entire rest of the game to just take out one single score streak with the RPG. If you use Engineer for this class as well, then if someone does happen to call in a sentry turret, that's generally your best bet as they're very easy to take out. So yeah, this one seems like it's impossible but with these tips you will get it done in no time at all. Now lastly, we have the Psychedelic Camos and these require two kills in quick six session with the launcher 25 times over. These ones are arguably the hardest and most frustrating and these are what I was talking about before when I mentioned the classic camos. Those require two kills without dying and these require two kills in quick succession so obviously every time you get one of these you're also getting one of the two kill streaks as well. So it's essentially pointless to even attempt to get those two kill streaks without trying to go for the double kills at the same time. The only tip I have for these is to go into hardcore mode as that will make it a one hit kill without flak jacket and then yeah just try your best to get a kill kill and follow that up with a kill straight after. On Nuketown, it is pretty easy to get these once you have found a little bit of an easier lobby. These will get very frustrating, guys, but trust me, when you get shot on for long enough, the game will eventually help you out with some easier lobbies, and once you get them, these do come pretty quickly. Melee kills do also count, remember, so if you can get on Nuketown Domination, get into the other team's house and then melee them to death in quick succession. That is probably the best way to avoid anyone having flak jackets, so try for that whenever possible, but firing them normally is a solid strategy as well, especially if you can get direct hits. Obviously, once you unlock all of those camos, then gold will be unlocked for both weapons, and therefore diamond will be unlocked as well. These two are, without a doubt, the absolute hardest and most frustrating weapons to get diamond in Cold War, guys. Trust me on this, you will get frustrated, you will want to give up and just play the game normally, and it will take you quite a few hours. But if you follow this video, then you should be able to get them done much faster than you probably think, and once these are done, the rest of the camos in the game are going to feel a whole lot easier. That is going to do it for this one though, guys. If you if you enjoyed the video then be sure to leave a like down below and if you are new then consider subscribing to the channel with those notifications on. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.